Everyone wants to start at the finish line. A lot of people say they want to learn how to code, but very few are willing to put in the effort to learn the art of programming. Let me tell you a secret. The days of learning the basics and getting a six-figure job, those days are gone, at least for now. You need to go all in on learning how to code and get a deeper understanding of how to bend code to your will. What's the secret to learning how to code? Some say you should code for an hour a day. That's good to get started, but it's not enough. Some say it'll take 10 years or 10,000 hours to master programming. And even I say that in some other videos. But the fact is, you'll never master programming. The finish line is always moving. Languages get updated. You'll need to learn a new programming paradigm. New technology, new libraries, new frameworks, and new languages will make it that you're a student of code for life. You have to immerse yourself. Think about it. How do you learn a new spoken language? The best way is to immerse yourself in that language. Surround yourself with people who speak it. Maybe even go as far as move to a country that only speaks that language. When it comes to code, you have to immerse yourself in the programming language you want to learn. Read the documentation pages. Learn the fundamentals of the language. Do the tutorials. Refact the code. Watch videos, read books, take notes, and even go as far as to write out your own flashcards. Spend time just thinking about code, even when you're not in front of a computer. Learn about programming theory. Do a deep dive in design patterns. Analyze the language by constantly profiling it, debugging it, learning the limits of what your language is capable of. Try to really understand the programming paradigms and conventions used by your language. Then learn how to implement data structures and algorithms in your chosen language, and maybe even brush up on math. Now, some will say you don't need data structures and algorithms, and some will say you don't need math. And at first, you really don't. But if you want to get a deeper understanding of how to be a programmer and get past those tutorials and the very basics and fundamentals, guess what? You're going to have to put in the work and learn the data structures and algorithms and maybe brush up a little bit on math. Learn from others. We have access to some of the best open source projects, and their code is right there for us to view. Just head on over to GitHub and run a search for the programming language you're learning and see what projects uses them. Download the code, review the code, try to map it out. One of the best ways to learn is by reverse engineering other people's code. Then go and build something. One of the best ways to see if you're actually understanding what you're learning is to actually try to build something yourself. Try to see how far you can get to code a solution to a problem without outside help. And just when you think you're done with your project, it's time to refactor it, optimize it, see if you can get it to do something it wasn't intended to do. Learn the art of debugging your code. And don't be afraid to fail. Everybody fails. The sad part is that most people quit too early. You might have been on this journey for a couple of months and made a self-determination that you're just not cut out for it. Just remember that failing is how you learn. You have to give it time. You have to respect the process. And you have to devote the time to break your brain on learning how to solve a problem with code. You will fail. You'll fail often, and it's through those times of failing that you're actually going to learn how to succeed. And there will be obstacles. At some point, everything's going to go south on you. There will be times when it seems like everything seems to be getting in your way. The universe and life has a way of testing you. You just have to decide to push through those obstacles. And there will be critics. Critics are a dime a dozen. People love to criticize others for doing something they wish they could do themselves. So you have to learn how to silence those critics. And most importantly, you have to learn how to silence your biggest critic, which is yourself. You have to go all in. The greatest athletes, leaders, actors, inventors, what do they all have in common? They all went all in on achieving their goal. You have to make coding a habit. Make programming a major part of your day. Block out all distractions. Turn off your notifications. Put all your devices on do not disturb mode. Learn how to get your mind into a state of flow. While everyone else is sleeping, you should be putting extra time into coding. While everyone's watching TV, you should be coding. While everyone's on social media, you should fire up your text editor and code. While everyone's at the party, spend your time coding. One of my favorite quotes is this, do today what others won't, so tomorrow you can do what others can't. Now you might be saying to yourself, but I'm not talented. Talent might come naturally to some, but skill is only developed by spending hours and days and weeks and months pounding away at your craft. 
And in reality, talent is often wasted. But remember, time is also often wasted. You may not have control over the talent you have, but you do have control over how you spend your time. One of the hardest things is sacrifice. And one quote that really sticks with me often is this, you have to sacrifice what you are for what you will become. Because remember, the only place where success comes before work is in the dictionary. Now it can be painful putting in the effort, but that pain is temporary. No matter how difficult it may be to achieve your goal, the more you work at it, the easier it'll become. So remember that pain is temporary, but quitting will last forever. Ultimately, you have to ask yourself the question, why not you? So now is the time for you to go out and code your empire.